To understand deployments within Kubernetes, you should first watch Cloud Native for Beginners, the Kubernetes components. But I want to quickly go over some essentials and we start with pods. Pods are the smallest and simplest Kubernetes objects. They represent a single instance of an application. They are a logical collection of one or more containers. Important to know is that they are ephemeral and don't have self-healing capabilities. If we look at replication of pods, we use something called replica sets. Replica sets are the next generation version of a replication controller. Replication controllers were there to ensure a specific number of replications of a pod are present within a Kubernetes cluster. Now, replica sets are great because they bring the aspects of replication, but also self-healing together. Okay, so we have two important Kubernetes objects explained. But what if I want to have them managed by one single object to make my life easier? And that is where Kubernetes deployments come into play. Deployments can manage the creation, deletion and update of pods, but also automatically creates a replica set which is responsible for creating the needed pods. A Kubernetes deployment allows you to describe an application's lifecycle such as the number of pods, how they should get updated and which image to use. We can provide declarative updates to pods and replica sets by just simply changing the definition of a deployment. Because we don't want to manually update our containerized applications, deployments can be utilized to provide seamless application updates and even rolling rollbacks. A deployment always keeps its prior configuration state saved as revisions so you can use seamless rollbacks at any time. So a deployment is an amazing object within your Kubernetes cluster which gives you powerful features like container image lifecycle management through managing pods and replica sets. It provides you the power for seamless application updates and easy rollbacks to previous revisions.